this is a Let's Get Acquainted video from QImage Ultimate showing you the latest feature that was just added called Uneven Borders. It's a short one, but just to whet your appetite. Here we go. First thing we do is we set freehand mode so that we can put pictures on top of pictures. The next thing we want to do is just put in a background template. So we'll use it later. Okay, so we go to the template thing and we click on fit to page and then we drag the template up here. We dump it and there we are. Okay, now it's time to put a picture in there. So let's put a picture in. Okay, we have uh, something here. Here's a nice deer. We'll put this guy in at 5 by 7. Okay, we're going to drag it now because if you want it to be on the same page, you have to drag it. Okay, there's our 5 by 7. Now, in the past, when you wanted to make a border, okay, you just clicked on the print properties and added a border. I've already got one in here. It's uh, white. Let's change the color to something that you could see better. Okay, <clears throat> let's make a red one. Okay, there we are. So that's the way you would normally make your border of any kind of color and size and so on and so forth. But we want to make an uneven border this time. So let's go to the page editor. Okay, and we have two items. We have the 5 by 7 and we have the uh, background. Here's your sizes so you know which one you're clicking on. Here's your location so you know where it sits on the page. Okay, so if we want to center this, we hold the control key down, hit the up arrow, hold the control key down, hit the right arrow, and we're centered. Simple as that. Okay, the next thing we want to do is take this background here, and we're going to make a color. Okay, I just put a 9 in there. We'll change that color to some other color that we like. Let's take a nice blue. Okay, we have that. Now, all we have to do really is push this up a little bit. Okay, we use the arrow keys and that's what we have. You can put your text down on the bottom here and you have uneven borders. Your blue is your border. You can pull this out a little bit if you want to make it a little more exciting. And that should do it. Okay. okay, and in the text department, you just right click, say add floating text, give it a rough idea where you want it. John Doe, how do you like that? Okay, put him over there, and we're all done. So done, and that's what your picture looks like. Okay, for further details on how to really use this to great advantage, please go to the QImage Learning Center and read and listen and watch for all the videos. Thank you.